hey everyone welcome back to another new video i hope you all are doing really good so today i have received this hp probook 440 g5 laptop motherboard and this motherboard problem is it's turn on after a few seconds it's turn off so now i will try to fix this motherboard so let's try to fix it okay this is uh, this motherboard model number daox dmb 6 fo so first i will check all the required voltage step by step so let me show you the condition of this motherboard so when i connect my dc power supply and as you can see it's turn on overall led also glowing but few seconds it's turn off itself so now i will check all the required voltage step by step so first thing first 19 volt power rail it's okay it's also okay let's check this any of capacitor the 13 volt perfect and now i will check 3 volt and 5 volt always voltage should be this two coil this is a 5 volt so, so perfect 3.3 volt always it's also perfect so before i check any other voltage First, I will check is switching voltage. See here, it's ground. Okay, almost we found the problem. The switching voltage here should be three volt or two point five or three point three, but uh, this voltage is reduced to 30.36 so first i'm going to fix this problem then i will check again so at first i will remove this flex cable and then i will check again okay it's turn on but turn off so this cable and switch is okay so now i will check this io chip first so let me open uh, schematic for this motherboard and it's a new photon npce 586 uh, page number uh, 45 45 <clears throat> then i need to check here power button in number 73 you can see here power button in number 73 so let's check under my microscope let's connect power supply again I set my multimeter and DC mode so I need to check pin number 73 pin number 73 so here is a pin number one pin number 32 pin number 64 65 6 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 it says 0 0.35 so now <coughs> I will check this line 
where it come from okay so I need to find this circuit on this motherboard so I don't have any board view board view for this motherboard so I will find this circuit on my way in my technique in my technique so so first I set my multimeter and this remote uh, beep mode then I will put my one probe here and I will touch I will touch like this I will touch every register or capacitor around this uh, IO controller okay let's flip this board let's touch okay got it here let me show you under my microscope as you can see here and uh, I also maybe I found this problem this capacitor look like faulty so let's connect power again and check here 3.3 okay other side 3.3 3.3 3 .3. here is a uh, <coughs> 0.35 0.35 .35. so I guess this capacitor is faulty so first I will remove this capacitor this capacitor let's check okay it's not short but uh, i guess this is a uh, this capacitor is leakage capacitor so let's connect dc power again and check this voltage here now it's 3.3 volt as you can see now it's 3.3 volt after remove this capacitor this voltage is 3.3 now and this board is still on it's not turn off so let's connect this flex again connect the power let's check this switch 2.2 it's okay So it's not turn off itself. So now I will check this place okay or not. So here we have display. Let's connect.
so I need to wait for a few seconds it's taking good ampere we have HP logo so it's done sometimes it's very easy but sometimes this kind of problem it's very very difficult to find out the bad components so finally we successfully fix this laptop so thanks for watching this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much